people we speak to first and foremost are households and businesses across the country. And if you look at surveys of households um, like the H, uh, HFI survey, if you look at the most recent uh, Deloitte CFO survey, if you, you do the surveys and the meetings that we do with businesses and, and meet with consumer groups across the country, the expectation of those individuals, more than three quarters of those, whether they're individuals or businesses, is that interest rates are going to go up, are likely to go up at some point over the course of the next year, probably a couple of times uh, over the course of the next uh, uh, next year, year and a half. Okay? So they are in a position that they can plan accordingly for that possibility. They don't think it's a guarantee. They think it's a likelihood. Um, you would also, if you meet with households and businesses as you do, um, know that they think that we will react accordingly to the underlying conditions in the economy. So first point is, who do we speak to? First, we speak to the people we serve, which are directly households and businesses. The second is that the judgment about the stance of policy, uh, to get into the technicals, um, relate to the balance of supply and demand in this economy. Now, we have been um, as clear as we can be, I think, about where we think the rate of supply growth is in the economy. We've given a figure for the natural rate of unemployment. We revise that. We update that once a year. We've updated to four and a quarter percent. We've given a view on what, what the rate of potential growth is, or the speed limit of the economy, about one and a half percent. Um, and we've also given a view about the overall level of slack, which as of today we view as very limited in the economy. Uh, and so the question is, which one can't prejudge, one can have an opinion on, but one can't prejudge is, how fast is this economy going to grow relative to that speed limit? We can't guarantee an outcome. For, the, uh, for economic growth. It's affected by a variety of factors, both external and uh, internal. Um, but you can make a judgment uh, that if the economy is growing faster than the speed limit, it's likely, certainly our view, that domestically generated inflationary pressures are going to continue to pick up, and that consistent with that, some withdrawal of monetary stimulus uh, would be required. Now, People in financial markets, there's a lot of people in financial markets, they will have a range of views about the likelihood of that. It will be influenced by their views of the European economy, by their views of uh, animal spirits and businesses, potentially of their views of likely outcomes of Brexit negotiations, potentially all of the above. But if they can form a view of where they think the economy is going and update that view as the data comes in and what it informs, um, then they can make a judgment about what we're likely to do. Now, last word on this. Probably won't be the last word, but the last word for your response to you. Um, in terms of the decision at this meeting, we had data come in lower than our expectations. It was mixed. There was some stronger data, uh, but uh, on balance it was mixed and weaker. And certainly the hard data, the ONS data, uh, was lower than expectations. In a world where you're looking at limited and gradual rate increases, you sit down and say, I think the most likely thing is that the underlying momentum in the economy is still there above that modest hurdle that I described, the one and a half percent point, uh, one and a half percentage point uh, speed limit of the economy. We think it's still there. The, that's the view of the committee as a whole. That's what's in our projection. But what's the sensible thing to do? Um, do you act now or do you wait to see evidence that that momentum is reasserting? The judgment of the committee, of the majority of the committee, is you wait to see for some evidence of that reasserting. Now the market and those who follow closely what we do um, can make their own judgment about how likely that is. And they will update those views as information comes in. For our households, businesses focused on other things, they have, I think, the, well, we know as of now, the general orientation, which we're confirming today, that interest rates are likely to go up to a limited extent and at a gradual pace, and they should plan accordingly. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.